all the children of Adam, they will err, they will falter, they will sin. And the best of those who often sin are those who often repent. That's the meaning of it. May Allah Almighty forgive us. Have hope. My brothers, my sisters, have hope. But in the process, never allow yourself to develop a chip on your shoulder. Don't ever look at someone and tell yourself, I'm better than them. You might be in one way, but you may not be in another thousand ways. Learn to greet each other. Learn to respect each other. Learn to talk to each other. Learn to honor each other. Allah will grant you honor. Learn to open the doors for others and create ease to the degree that Allah has allowed you and Allah will create ease for you in this world and the next. There are so many narrations I could speak about that would actually confirm that the Prophet ﷺ has said it so many times. Whoever creates ease for someone, Allah will create ease for them in this world and the next. Whoever gives a person who owes them money a little bit of time, Allah will give them time in the hereafter. Allah will give them respite in the hereafter. MashaAllah. Some people are nodding their heads so much it feels like they owe people money. But it's okay. Pay them back please as soon as you can. But at the same time, if you give someone time, MashaAllah, Allah will grant you from His mercy. So go easy on the people. We're all struggling. Trust me. Everyone you see has their own story. You don't know it. So don't judge them. You have never walked in their shoes. You don't know how they got to where they've gotten to. I tell you earlier, we heard Brother Rahim say, you get a reward just by your intention. Imagine if I intend to do something grand and in the process I passed away. Allah says, I will give you the reward as though you achieved it already. And if that's the case, you might see someone seated right next to you and you're thinking, this person seems to be far from Allah. Number one, you are not Allah. Number two, you don't know the heart. Number three, shaitan has just got hold of you. And number four, they might have already arrived at a rank far higher based on the intention and the struggle and the commitment more than anything else. I want to become a hafiz. So I start, I'm learning a verse a day, one verse a day. That's very little by the way, but if I'm learning a verse a day, and for example, one juz, I still have 29 left and I pass away. I am resurrected as a hafiz. That's Allah. Why? I was dedicated. There goes the hadith says, Innam al bin niyat. My brothers, my sisters, why don't we just say, I want to be a hafiz. I'm going to learn a verse a week. Allahu Akbar. I'm making it so easy for you, right? I'm going to learn a verse a week. Learn it. Repeat it. Say it again and again and again and again. I swear 52 weeks down the year is gone. You only know 52 verses. But because of the dedication, the commitment, the fact that you didn't miss it. The day you die. If you, are, if you have completed it, good news. If you haven't completed it, even better news. You know why? Allah chose to take you away. He knows when you were going to go. Had He kept you, you would have finished. He says, I'll just write it as though you finished it. Subhanallah. Allah says everyone will get a reward based on their intention for as long as you were genuine.